Hi everyone. Listen, um, I don't mean to be spamming all your YouTube feeds, I promise. But, um, this is important. Um, this whole thing with, uh, Doma being struck down and people, um, of different sexualities now being able to be married in certain states, um, and have all the legal protections in those states, um, has got me thinking. People are saying that, and this is, this is not a video about, uh, gay marriage or gay rights, um, but, however, I do have some thoughts on that, if you want my thoughts on that, yeah, ask me. Um, or you could ask me to do a video on it. Um, but, uh, this whole thing has got me thinking because, um, because people are saying that, um, the gay rights movement and that whole thing, the whole o LGBT, I think, Q and a couple other letters, I can't remember the whole, um, uh, the whole, uh, string of letters, but, um, the whole, um, people of other sexualities, uh, rights movement, um, is the new civil rights movement from the 60s. People keep comparing it to, um, the rights movement from, uh, the I'm sorry. Um, people keep comparing it to the civil rights movement of African Americans in the 60s, um, and saying that it's the new civil rights movement. But, um, that kind of bothers me, not because, not because people don't deserve rights, because they do, but I think we've forgotten, we as a society have forgotten about another group, and that is the group that I happen to fall into that's uh, disabled people. Um, Rock Center, which is a news a specialized news program done by, uh, I think, NBC? Yes, NBC. Um, they just did a piece on their last program when their series ended, like, a few nights ago. And I'll try to find it and put it in the thingy -majig. Um <laughs> uh, They d just did a piece on... Um, uh, goodwill employees and how certain goodwill employees are working at plants throughout the country, goodwill plants throughout the country, and they're making pennies. Some goodwill employees, according to this report, were making 50 cents an hour or lower. A lot of them were doing that. And, um, my my best friend works at Goodwill, one of my best friends, and she happens to be disabled, however, her disabilities are um, invis what you would call invisible, meaning that you can't, you can't look at her and tell if there's anything quote-unquote wrong with her. Um, but in all actuality, she is half-deaf and she got sick when she, she got very, very ill when she was a little girl and nearly died. She got meningitis and that left her with all kinds of problems um, that I won't go into because that's her personal thing. Hi Jenny, if you're watching this, um, which I don't know if you are because you don't have internet yet, but whatever. Um, if you ever get on Tumblr, yeah, I'll put it up there so you can see it. Um, but, so this has got me thinking, because people are saying that the gay rights uh, movement is um, the new civil rights movement. And in some ways, I kind of think that's, um, I kind of think they're right, but I kind of think they're wrong. Because I think society skips over a whole group of people that 
it crosses all races, all backgrounds, all socioeconomic boundaries. Disabilities don't discriminate, which is kind of ironic because if you are disabled, you will face discrimination, um, no matter what your disability. Um, but anyway, I was talking about Goodwill, and some of these, some of these people who work at Goodwill, who have more severe disabilities, are sort of shipped off, for lack of a better phrase, to, um, to the plant and kind of not um, seen and not really heard from. And those are the people that make the least money. Jenny happens to work in um, in a store in well around my area, I guess, um, in a town close to me. So um, actually, no, wait, she doesn't work in, in that store anymore. She works in yeah. So the store that she works in is in my hometown. Um, so she's not being currently discriminated against but at her job. However, this isn't just about Goodwill. This is about everywhere. Um, I have gone to dinner with my friend Erica, who has a service dog. And we've had people stop her at the door and ask, like, call their manager and be like, can we have a dog in here? I don't think she's allowed to bring a dog in here. Other people aren't allowed to bring dogs. And we have to, like, get in their faces and tell them that, no, this is a service dog. And according to the Americans with Disabilities Act, this is legal. She's a service dog. Shut up. Let us go eat our dinner. Like, <laughs> we have to literally, we have to fight for our rights. Like, every single day. I get stared at every day. Every day. I get stared at. Every time I have a muscle spasm, somebody freaks out. Every time I... I mean, I've even... I was at the mall few weeks ago and I wasn't really feeling well and kind of out of it probably looked a little pale and there was a woman walking with her three children and she just kind of I was going past them and she just kind of shielded them from me and I was like okay you're weird <laughs> You are weird. I don't know if she was, um, whoops, I'm not sitting in the right spot so that the camera can, okay, fixed now. Um, but I don't know if she was just, like, trying to sort of group her little ducklings closer to her so that I could get through. I don't know if she was doing it as a courtesy to me, but it looked like, like, as soon as she saw me coming, she was just like, Ugh, like, it looked like she was sort of put off by the fact that I was there, even. Um, and people react like that to me a lot. And, like, well, I think I've actually talked about before in another video, um, when I did a video response to Katie's bullying video, um, which I'll, I'll link in the thingy magic. Um, so, yeah, I think I've actually talked about this before, but briefly, I'm going to reiterate. My school, when I was in elementary school, didn't want to do squat for me at first, because I was the first disabled child in my elementary school. And my parents, and my first grade teacher, and my joint services, Aid. Joint Services is an agency that here in my state, and they help disabled kids and their families get through school, 
and they make sure that um, accommodations are there and everything. So I'm grateful for that. But I think that they didn't want to do anything for me because they looked at it like we're going to have to renovate the bathrooms, build ramps, do all this crap for this one kid. And we have like 300 plus kids in our school and nobody else gets treated special. Um, so they looked at it like that and my joint services aide like got in their face and she was like no this is the first child but there will be more because the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed four years ago so there's going to be more disabled kids coming through and you're just going to have to do it for her now because she has rights because she's a person but I've always had to fight for my rights as a human being people don't want to give me the same amount of respect as an able-bodied person and I don't understand that I I can't wrap my brain around that because because I have cerebral palsy because I roll instead of walk like what what's the deal with that I mean come on now I ugh ugh I can just oh my gosh ugh anyway um it just it just, I just felt like it like it was important enough to make a video about and this probably will be one of the lengthier ones because I have a lot of experience or maybe instead of just doing a huge video about it I'll do it in parts so like maybe this will be part one and then like next week or something part two part three etc 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 um however and you know however many parts I have to do until I can really get it out of my system or maybe like I'll just randomly um, well not randomly maybe I'll make this like a feature of my channel thoughts on uh, disability rights and different things because I do keep up with that um, I don't know let me know what you guys think um, but I'm going to uh, I'm gonna find actually I don't have to find it it's right over there um, I'm going to grab a couple of my journals and read a couple of poems, so give me a second. I don't want to stop the video because I don't want to restart it again. And for anyone who, oops, uh, okay, there. For a minute there, I look like the Flash, because the camera froze on my chair, buzzing toward the table, and I was like, it was like a blue burrow, blue blur, and it looked cool. <laughs> um, okay, this is a short poem. Um, or relatively short poem. Um, it's called A Poem to Humanity About Their Silent Hatred of Me. Um, this is, before I start this, I was very, very angry when I wrote this. So, um, there is some minimal swearing, 
Um, but I had just had a bad day, and like all my medical issues had attacked me like all at once. And I had had people make some rude comments, and etc., etc., etc. So, and sometimes when I write a poem, I'm pissed. I mean, that's just how my brain works. Poetry is how I filter everything in my life. So, here goes. Dear humanity, when exactly did my inability to walk become an invitation for you to stare at me like I'm a rejected circus freak? What's the matter? Are you afraid you'll catch cerebral palsy? Don't worry. You're only diagnosed if you've had a serious brain injury as a baby. Are you surprised I'm out in public? Surprised I haven't been locked away in a group home and spoon-fed by a nurse since birth? Fuck you. I can sing circles around 98% of you. Why do some of you huddle around your children as I go by? I won't hit them. I know how to fucking drive. The way some of you look at me is, is disgusting. You fools act scare, scared of me. Or you pity me. I don't need either. I don't want either. I have an apartment. I have a Maria kitty. Maria's my cat. I have a job. I am going back to college in August. Clearly, I can care for myself. I don't need you pitying or fearing me or fucking patronizing me. You regularly ignore me, pretend you don't see me, then get all pissy when I have to yell, excuse me, especially when I have to pee. Sometimes I feel like yelling, look lady, either you move or I pee on you. It's just how my body works. I have no muscle control there. Maybe I should. Maybe then people would actually move. Maybe people would actually treat me like a human. That's the end of that poem. Um, and I have lots of poems that deal with my disability and whatnot. So if you like the whole me reading my poems thingy, then like it. If you want to hear, um, more disabled poems, like poems about my disability and how I feel about it and the way people sometimes treat me and the good and bad things that happen with it, um, let me know. And if you are, if you work with disabled people, if you are a disabled person, if you're a disability rights advocate, if you, if you do any of that stuff, um, talk to me. I would love, well, if you're, if you watch my videos, talk to me. But, um, especially if you work with disabled people or you are a disabled person, um, talk to me because I, I love meeting differently abled humans who are awesome. So, uh, and, and able-bodied people who are actually fabulous and work to help us and protect us and don't treat us like we're from another planet. <laughs> so uh, I told you this was going to be lengthy and I'm at 8, 40, 1847 right now. So I'm going to go. Bye.